today we're going to show you how we harvest a bison humanely from start to finish, right from our field to our own forks. In Canada, it's not legal to process a bison in the field or on the farm or on the ranch um, for sale. So all of the animals that we harvest on our actual farm are for our own consumption. Today we're going to be harvesting a cow, an older one, that had a smaller calf last year, a little bit later, and we're thinking that she's not even pregnant this year. So it just makes sense to fill our freezer with something that isn't probably going to produce any longer. And she's had a great life. She's been with us for a long time. When we harvest a bison in the field with the herd, we always put some bales out for them and just treat it like a regular feeding day so that they don't know anything's coming. This way the animal's not stressed out at all and they've literally lived a great life from start to finish. Here you can see the whole herd coming in for hay and then we're just going to zoom in on the cow on the left there that we're going to take today and she is just going to go painlessly with one quick shot. The herd is only concerned for a minute or two but we remove her so fast and just get her out of there so that they don't have to witness anything that comes next. Here you can see Chad and I just getting ready. We're going to put some blocks um, on either side of her just as supports and then we are going to flip her entire body onto her back for easy processing. Here you can see me just thanking her for her life and for her sacrifice for our family. Now we'll just successfully get her onto her back, get the cinder blocks underneath her front rib cage as much as we can, just to hold her up for extra support. They are not professional butchers by any means, so don't judge us on this video, but we just think that it's super important for people that are consuming animals to have a connection to their food, to know where it's coming from, to know that it lived a really great, long and healthy life and be proud of what they're putting on their plates. Being in confidence is a thing, and we can guarantee that every animal that comes off of our property is treated respectfully from start to finish, and that is something that we are so proud of. We prefer to skin our animals on their backs, and we remove the front hooves so that no contaminants from like poop or anything that's on their hooves gets on the rest of the carcass while we're continuing skin. We also do them on their back so that we can easily remove the front organs like the heart and the esophagus and things like that as well as spread the brisket so that when we lift the entire bison up the stomach kind of just falls down and we'll show you that right away. You can see our dog sitting around just patiently waiting and that's because every single part of the bison on our ranch actually gets used. So anything that is not good for human consumption, the dogs will get to snack on and we typically keep all of our hides and our skulls and just try to make the best out of every single part of the animal because they deserve that. So here you can just see Chad continuing to peel back the rest of the cape on the sides before we lift the animal up in the air. And the coolest thing about this animal is we've had her for quite a while and she's actually on a canvas in our living room and the first ever bison that we harvested for our own consumption was the bull that's also in the canvas with her and I'm going to post it at the end so you guys can see. Okay, so here you can see Chad going in to cut the brisket, which is like the lower chest area of the animal, which is below the shoulder or the chuck. And it carries like a lot of weight there, so it's super hard. And he told me to tell everyone like, F it, I'm taking in the reciprocating saw, just so everyone knows. You have to be super careful when you're cutting not to hit the rumen or the stomach where all the cud is in the animal or else it'll just spill out everywhere on the entire carcass that you're working on. 
Here you can see Chad taking the esophagus out of the animal. The esophagus is not really good for human consumption that I know of. I could be totally wrong, I don't know. But our dogs love it raw or it can be smoked for a dog treat and they just love it. So typically when we work on an animal, we work together and Chad will usually hold the brisket apart and then I'll go in and grab the rest of the organs out of the front end of the animal. But this day that we were working on this specific animal was about minus 30, so it was too cold to have the kids outside. Because usually we'll just put them in the back of the truck and they can just watch out the window and they're good to go. But yeah, so I was just running back and forth and checking what Chad needed and just trying to be there for him. Well, he worked in the majority of this one alone. And that's great about Chad because he is a doer, this guy. He also made to be sure that he was very clear to me that he was taking off his bracelet there just in case any was wondering what he was doing. the heart out of the animal and we will keep that to make a meal later. So now Chad's just taking the rest of the sides of the cape back now that the brisket is completely cut and the organs are out of there to get it prepared to go up on the tractor. Okay, next you can just see us pulling the entire carcass of the animal up on the tractor, which just moves everything that's at the end of the animal down to the front, and the stomach just easily falls out once the little bit of fat and stuff in the back of the hind end is detached. Here, Chad is just pulling some of the tallow fat down and then the stomach easily just drops right out of the animal with nothing in its way because all of the organs from the front of the animal are already removed. We found out that this animal was indeed not pregnant, so we made the right decision. take the back of the hide off and then we fill the back of our truck with poly wrap and we load the animal in half sections um, into the back of the truck and head to the butcher. How much do you think this cow weighs? Okay we'll see. 
Everything we do on our ranch is a family affair, so our kids come with us everywhere and they get to experience everything from start to finish, which we find super important for our lifestyle. Bison don't have a lot of fat on their carcass. They're a very, very lean animal, high in protein and omegas, but this yellow coloring of fat on the animal just shows how old the animal is and what they were fed throughout their life, throughout their lifetime. Putting an animal from our own field into our freezer is always a celebration and it was even more so just having this canvas of this animal to recognize her and her life. This is us. This is Backwoods. Yeah.